This video is going to look at some more things with percents. We're going to start by finding the part when we're given the percent and we're given the whole. And we're also going to look at finding the percent when given the part and the whole. Okay, so if we look at this first one, we're going to use, well, we're going to need to use three different methods to find the part. So we're going to start by using a proportion. So a proportion is just two ratios that are equal to each other. You guys have seen this on your review sheets throughout the year. So if we set up a proportion, we're going to put the part over the whole equals the percent over 100. Okay, and so how do we know what the part is? Well, this word is tells us the part. So since we're asking what is, that means we don't know what the part is. Okay, so we don't know what the part is. We always know that 100 goes down there. And then if we want to know what the whole is, we work, look for this word of. That's a good way to tell us where the part, where the whole is, rather. Of 50. Okay, of 50, right there. So we put that there, and then 22%, 22 is the uh, percent. Okay, now we just need to figure out how do we get these to become equivalent ratios. So to get from 100 to 50, we divide by 2. All right, so we have to divide the 22 by 2, and we get 11. Okay, so what is 22% of 50? 11 is. Okay, so that's one method, using a proportion. Now we're going to use this double number line. Okay, so what is 75% of 320? Okay, so it's asking what is, which means we're looking for the part. Of 320 means that we're dealing with 320 as our whole, and then 75% is our percent. Now, since we're looking for a percent less than 100, on our double number line, we can start with 0 on both of these. We're going to pick one of these to be the percent. So this will be 0%, and we're going to go all the way up to 100%. Since our whole is 320, that's going to go with the 100%. Now, since we have 75% as the percent, we can um, divide 100 into quarters. Okay, so we can have 25% here, 50% here. 75% here. So then we need to take 320 and divide it into four pieces, just like we did with 100. And that's how we're going to keep it equivalent along this double number line. So 320 divided by 4 is 80, because 32 divided by 4 is 8. Okay, so we're going to skip count by 80s. So um, 0, 80, 160, 240. 320. And now what we do is we look for that 75% and see that it matches up with 240. So what is 75% of 320? That answer is 240. Okay. And then our final method is going to be using an equation. So this question actually helps us set up this equation exactly. Okay. So what is? So question mark. Now in math, we don't use question marks, right? We are going to use a variable. So let's use um, x, okay? So what is? Is is that equal sign? And then 26% of 72. Now when we're dealing with equations, we don't want it in percent form, we want it in decimal form. So I'm going to change 26% into 26 hundredths, which is 26% as a decimal, of 72. Of means multiplication. Okay, so we're going to just multiply 72 times 26 hundredths to get our part. Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12. Um, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43, put a 0 there, 2 times 2 is 4, uh, 2 
2 times 7 is 14. Okay, 2, 7, 8, 1, 2 spaces over. Okay, and so we get 18 and 72 hundredths. That is 26% of 72. Okay, so if we're setting up this equation, we know that the part is equal to the percent as a decimal times the whole. So you can always use that equation right there. Okay, so now we're going to look at finding the percent if we're given the part and the whole. So what percent of 20 is 17? So we can set it up using a proportion once again, where the part over the whole equals the percent over 100. Okay, so in this case, is 17 is the part that is tells us that it's part 17 over, and then of 20, that's our whole. So 17 over 20 equals some percent, we can use x as the placeholder there, over 100, okay? Again, we just find out how do we make these equivalent. 20 times 5 equals 100. So I just need to do 17 times 5. Okay, it's, uh, 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, um, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so we have 85. So what percent of 20 is 17? 85%. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to use a double number line again. So this time, what percent of 30, what percent is 30 of 50? Okay. So this bottom line, we're going to do percentages. Okay, so we're going to start with 0% and go up to 100%. The whole is 50. So that's what I'm going to put um, lined up with 100%. I'm going to line up a 0 with the 0%. Okay, and in order to get to 30 um, and also be able to divide 100 evenly, we are going to divide um, both of these into 10 pieces, okay? And so we're going to have 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 90%, and 100%. So then to divide 50 by 10, we're going to um, divide it by 5s. So we're going to count up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then we're going to find our target number of 30. And we see that that lines up with 60%. So what percent is 30 of 50? 60%. Okay. Now we are going to do it with an equation. Okay, so what percent of 315 is 126? So what percent, we don't know, we're going to use x, of 315 is 126? Okay, so we're just putting things into that equation that we talked about in the last slide where we take the percent as a decimal times the whole equaling the part. Okay. Now, we want to solve for x in this case, and we all should know how to solve for x. We draw that line if we need to, and then we undo what's being done to the variable. So in this case, we're going to divide both sides by 315, okay? So 315 divided by 315 is 1. So on this side, we're left with x, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to do 126 divided by 315. And when we do that division out, we're going to get 4 tenths. 
okay? And that is our percent as a decimal. So to get it into percent form, we then take the 4 tenths, multiply by 100, which moves the decimal over twice. So our percent is 40%. Okay, so that's three different ways to be able to work with percents. You can use whatever method you choose on your assignment.